welcome to No Enemies Here, the show where Carol Paradzi watches it and sends me an email and saying, Hey Dan, how you doing? You weren't looking so good. <laughs> you gotta love the guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Today we got a big show, big show, biggy wiggy. And today I, I worked all day in my my man cave. And my man cave consists of basically it's tobacco, right? But it, there's going to be war gaming involved because I'm going to have a table set. And yeah, I'm going to be smoking while playing a war game. It's my war game. I'm going to keep it. It's going to smell like smoke. I'm going to love it. And um, plus we have, well, we... I have a ventilation system, which, um, look, you could smoke weed right beside me and I won't even smell it. That's how good the ventilation system is. So relax, hey, Carl, uh, greater. So other than that, you know what? It was a good week. I did not work this week. That's why it was a good week, but it's going to be really poor on cash. But look, Nietzsche said, embrace it. I'm embracing it. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show. The Soviets invaded Afghanistan in 1979. It was an incursion that would last 10 bloody years and end in the defeat and withdrawal of all Soviet forces. 85 Graveyard of Empires. A squad battles game and the successor to 65 squad battles in the jungles of Vietnam depicts exciting squad level battles between bands of Afghan Mujahideen and companies of Soviet soldiers. The game features immersive car driven play that stresses the fog of war. You never know what maneuver your opponent will attempt. Numerous exciting scenarios featuring historic battles. Squad level units depicting Mujahideen infantry, Soviet line troops and Spetsnaz, as well as individual T-55-62 tanks, BMPs, Hind helicopters and more. 85 Graveyard of Empires is a highly tactical game capturing the up-close and personal fighting in a war neither the Soviet soldiers nor Afghan fighters had asked for. It's a game designed by gamers for gamers to play by Flying Pig Games. Lair has three videos this week. Counter clipping number 120, the best of strictly Hex Encounter War Games. This is for Grognards only. Plus, everything you were afraid to know about blah 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 war games with Dan and Artie. We were talking about war games for Canada. For maybe saying from, but maybe it was for. I was on that show, so hey. And designer interview Julius Caesar with designer Justin. Thompson, all this on Artie's Lair. I should say Artie's Lair. Gimpy of the Gimpy Gamer, Fighters of the Pacific Part 4, plus Fighters of Europe, the Kickstarter, and In Country Part 5, Hardcore Modern Miniature Combat. On the Tank Museum, bottom five tanks, Drashinfell. With Trashin fell. All right. We got to watch that one because I don't know what's going on. That's why you come here and get the news. Nanguaya, the guy southwest of me. Two videos this week. Live streaming 024 and live streaming 025. And this is on his favorite, I should say favorite. Obviously, it's his favorite. He plays it all the time. Der Weltkrieg. On Nanguaya. 
Clark Commando 1983, Part 3 MMP, the gamer's line of battle, last chance for victory after action report. Learn to play. Mark Ruggiero, Ruggiero, Ruggiero will teach you how to play anything because he's got patience. The Dusted Game Shelf 4 videos this week, and it is What is Your Shelf Life? Plus, battling with Battletech and also unboxing Catherine, the cities of the Tsarina. And D&D is not happy with, is not a happy game for some. Well, no, man. I mean, you get, you get shellacked and you've been doing, you know, you've been trying to level up your character to level 19 and at level, level 20. Your game master knocks you out because he doesn't like your face. I wouldn't be happy either. Tony of Tony's Board Life, one video. What's in the box? Antietam 1862. I'm assuming this is an unboxing. Simple history, four videos. Leopard Abrams and Challenger tanks in Ukraine. Also, life as a soldier. And deadly teachers in history. Really? Plus, World War II Japanese pilots versus eight versus 182 Hawaiian Islanders. I gotta watch that one. Andrew Chung, Ships of War, Episode 4, HMS Rodney, 1925, versus the Bismarck, 1939. Winter Quartering has one video on its payback, Part 1 in Italian, Band of Brothers, Old Breed, Worthington, publishing game and uh look uh, it's in italian what can i tell you man it's uh language of love charles latora two videos this week the african campaign and turn one i forgot to plug in the microphone <laughs> it's only 47 seconds plus my finished k rabbits and all my skeletons 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 on Charles Latoura this week. Kevin Kitchens, Once Upon a Game, two videos. A Worthington publishing game called 1944, D-Date to the Rhine, an unboxing plus. Next War Poland, GMT game, second edition, an unboxing. The Blue Tweezers, two videos of the same subject, that's Carrier Battles. Philippine Sea Livestream, playthrough number five. And number six, Tabletop Sci-Fi 1 video, Star Trek, Ascendancy, Gale Forest, nine games, board game review, and how to play the game within one hour. That is, the video was one hour. I play the game either less or more. I have no idea what this game is about. But if you don't, check out Star Trek, Ascendancy on Tabletop Sci-Fi. Fanny Rob unboxes, there's no talking on this one here, Attack Board Game by Eagle Games. Look who's back, Castelli, with Castelli Reviews. He's got a new channel. He couldn't stay away. I like Castelli. You'll like him too. Doug Weed of the Gamer's Closet has four videos. The Roadrunner Review on How to Play. Come on! The Roadrunner and Adventureland playthrough. These are all these old games, man, that were fun and it's stupid fun. And pretzels and beer. Another bad dice game, Crack Whore. The Adventure Dice Game. Whoa. Plus, Unboxing Zombies 9 Ashes to Ashes. On Doug Weed's channel, Gamers Club. Tank Zone, one video, best Korean war board games. Hmm, eight minutes of this. Huh? Hmm. Hex Encounters, four videos. Carrier Battles, Philippine Sea, this is a review. Plus Atlantic Chase, first look. Ah, come on. And Legends of Boxing, fictional career. Plus Atlantic Chase, solitaire scenario, Operation Berlin. Part 1 on 
Hex Encountered. Smart War Games has 12 videos out talking about putting out content. Conflicts of Heroes, Guadalcanal. These are video games. Plus, Dancing with Tigers, Tigers on the Hunt ASL mod, and Valorant Victory, also Heroes and Leaders mod. Second Front Games, Fat Lip Key, Combat Commander, Europe Scenario. That is the first scenario of the European Combat Commander. Plus, Stopping Camp of Goobin Piper. Plus, Fixing Slow Scenarios, Tigers on the Hunt ASL mode. KV2 Monster Hunt Combat Mission Barbarossa to Kol Kol Kolkata. This is on a Windows program. Stug Life, the last, the last Tiger 1945, Operation Nordwind 1945, WDS Game Northern War Release. Oh, should say Great Northern War Release. Plus, Single AT Gun Combat Mission Barbarossa to Berlin. On. Smart War Games. Box of Delights, Earth, Part 1. For people who know, don't know Box of Delights, this guy's an old guy. Well, an old guy. It's an old channel I used to watch a long time ago with 26,000 subscribers. Storm of Steel War Gaming Bench Report Hobby Update Plus Zero Group Operation Bagration 1944 Battle Report on Storms of Steel. War Stories. Four videos. The story of a Vietnam from the perspective of a field hospital nurse. Plus, how the Kaiserschlag almost won World War I for Germany. And how to feed an army from the other side of the world. Logistics heavy. How the Luftwaffe outshore or outshone the Soviet Air Force during Operation Barbarossa. Bad day. Howdy folks, it's Meandering Mike saying hi to all you folks watching Dan Pencaldi's show, No Enemies Here. This is my weekly channel update. Last week I only did one video. Uh, obviously you can see here there's more. It looks like six. Well, that one over there is my normal weekly channel update from last week uh, on the rolling update. So ignore that one. So we do have five real videos here and <laughs> that one over there. It's more of the man cave update in the garage. You have the five racks in. We're putting more stuff in there, different kind of games that we got stored in there, uh, various educational games and games from Uquinto, things like that. Uh, did a video on food storage here, here on Hot Sauce. Have you ever seen the Hot Wings uh, show on YouTube uh, where they eat hot wings and interview celebrities? That's lots of fun. Uh, so this was inspired by them, sort of getting into hot sauces. 
uh, actual game content here. We have an unboxing right here. This is of the Battle of St. Louis game from the Historical Game Company. That's set in 1780. It's the American Revolution War, but in the far western frontier over there by Mississippi. Lots of cool action going on there. Uh, right here, we've got a how to play of the Fort Jefferson attack game from Historical Game Company also. I did an unboxing of that like three or four months ago, finally getting around to do the how to play. And a little farther over is we actually started the playthrough, got the first two turned on. Uh, that's a lot of fun, a lot of action going on there, crazy stuff. The Americans are getting really unlucky, but they're hoping to try to hold out, but we'll see what happens. So if you're interested in any of those, take a look. Final reminder, my Britannia giveaway, if you see way down there, the far end, that is closing April 2nd, Saturday. So if you're watching Dan's show on Saturday, you still have a chance to sign up on my channel for that giveaway. Um, free uh, game that's uh, worth over $100 from Plastic Soldier Game Company. It's the version that has over 200 miniatures in it. Uh, guaranteed that shipping is not going to cost more than $40, but you have to be a U.S. customer. You can also get bonus raffle tickets by uh, watching my Britannia content, watching it, liking it, making some apropos comment or something like that. But that's it. We're going to keep it short today, folks. I'm sending it back to you, Dan, and all the folks watching No Enemies Here. Ciao. Titanis George, George Hiotis, one video this week at Bat Squad Leader, SK11, a long way to go on George Hiotis' channel. U Boater 658, one video. SCS North Africa Operation Crusader, the 8th Army Strikes Back again. This is a game by MMP, and you can watch 26 minutes of this on U Boater. 658. Relax, watch some corny stuff. Sci fi channel using alien technology to save the world. Alien presence on Earth. How the hell does he know? Nobody knows. Some people know, but we don't know. So nobody knows. Plus, secret alien societies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, yeah, you gotta watch this and laugh sometimes. Uh, hey, look, it could be true. Maybe not. Who cares? Dave of Dave's Gaming Cave. Two videos, and that is the same video on these two videos. One, one is two hours and 15 minutes, and this is concerning Carrier Battle, a game by Compass Games. Philippine Sea Scenario 7, Part 5. And Philippine Scenario... Seven part five error corrections. 50 minutes of that on two hours. Pretty good. Pretty good. All this on Dave's Gaming Cave. The Board Game Chronicles has two videos. One is playing combat, combat commander, commanding colors, I should say, ancients using CDG solo system. That is a Stuka Joe invention. Plus, coin Cuba Libre strategies for playing. As Direttorio on the Board Game Chronicles or the Board Games Chronicle. That wonderful channel that is Kings and Generals has three videos this week. Russia occupied 0.01% of Ukraine in March. This is what's happening right now. And Operation Vengeance, Avenging Pearl Harbor, Pacific War, number 74 documentary. Plus, Siege of Constantinople, 717-718, early Muslim expansion in 4K on Kings and Generals. Patrick's of Patrick's Tactics and Tutorials, Command and Colors Ancient 626, Megalopolis, the end, he says. Plus, Grant Takes Command 2 on scenario number 5, Sheridan. Rides South, a rematch on a game of On to Richmond. Legendary Tactics has four videos. Corvid, not COVID. Corvid, conspiracy tutorial for the Root board game. Also, Fighters of the Pacific box game, Reboxing. Four minutes of that, I gotta check this out. Also, my most hated Starling card. In Race for the Galaxy. 
the Starling. Starting card. Starling. Eh, yeah, I'm getting old. Plus, top 10 board games I won't play in 2023. For our Polish viewers, Wojnek TV. Twilight Struggle Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa Unboxing in Polish. Plus, Conquest of Paradise, a review in English. And Commanding Colors Napoleonics, the Russian Army in Polish. All of this multilingual. Boynet TV. I don't know what else to say. History Hustle, one video. The East German perspective on the rise of Hitler. My own worst enemy, one video on its paths of glory, deluxe edition, an unboxing. This is a game by Ted Racer, and it is highly regarded. Respect! Jim Mozarski, three videos. The Invasion of Norway for Nimitz, plus the double blind battle of Egmühl. For Blüche and attacking the Corridor of Death 2 for Chain of Command on Jim Ozarkski TV. Ben Harsh of Harsh Rules, one video. Rules breakdown of Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit number one, part 11. Poindexter, ah, Jay Hinton, Poindexter Games. Skies Above Britain, Chapter 1, Patrol 6 of 6, the last of Skies Above Britain. Check it out. He wrote me an email. Jay, I didn't write you back. What was I doing? I was fixing my smoking room. And then the phone rang and I forgot. I'll write you back. Poindexter Games. Stephen Dolges has one video out, and it is Strategy and Tactics number 340, French and Indian Wars Battle, a perusal from Stephen Dolges. Look at Timmy's all shame. Timmy of Hairbrain Games reviews Pax Renaissance. Also, Hairbrain Games unboxing Ancient Civilizations of the Middle East, a game by GMT. Look how pretty the guy is. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Talking about pretty, Kurt of ID Jester has a slew of videos. And he does Marvel two, three, four, five times. Plus he's a live unboxing JU87 Stuka Ace by Lock and Load Publishing. This is a pre-release copy. He's one of the fortunate people to have that pre-release copy. Also, he looks at Pro Wrestling 8, the top 100 board games of all time, 80 to 71, and free game superstar Pro Wrestling game and match gameplay King Kong Bundy versus dot dot dot. I don't know, but you know how many times game was said here? Free game superstar Pro Wrestling game and match gameplay. That's confusing for someone like me. It really is. On ID Jester, the confuser. My favorite Frenchie, Freddy Fred Serval. Look at that. He's doing coin beyond coin. This guy's a coin freak, man. He even put Robin Hood as a coin game. I mean, come on. Anyways, I'm going to play with him. He's going to teach me the game. He says it's going to be easy. He's enthusiastic about it. And uh, I want to... You know, I want to, how do you say, I want to opportune on this enthusiasm by Freddy Fred Serval, my favorite French. The Gorilla Generation, coin beyond coin. Freddy Fred Serval on Homo Ludens. Combat Board Games 1 video, looking at Panzer Shrek magazine number 19. With the solo game, The Battle, dot, dot, dot. Panzer Shrek is a magazine published by an Ontario man called Gary Graber. I'm sure you've heard of him. Actually, I bet you got a game. Either developed, co-designed, 
or designed by Gary Graber. He's everywhere. The PBS voice of War Games, The Oaken Knight. Two videos on the Russian campaign, playthrough parts two and three. This is the new one by GMT. Plus a Skyrim playthrough part one. Yeah, no, Oaken. Uh, my daughter was into Skyrim, you know, and I, I just couldn't get into it. There's magic spells and stuff and mages and zombies and uh, just give me a gun. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying, man? I, I, I don't know if I can do this mage stuff. But anyways, all this is happening on the Oaken Knight. Ruffy of Rough Swordsman Wargamer. Two videos. One is the War Room Live with VUCA simulations and designer Yves Rattel. I didn't know they were Frenchies. And it was Mark Ruggiero that suggested to me that I should get in touch with these guys. And Mark, I will. Also, Point Black V is for victory from Lock and Low Publishing. Playthrough Part 1. I have it. I'm going to watch it. I want to learn how to play. I can't read. But I can listen. Little Wars TV, one video. Compass, North Africa operation by Compass War Games. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. They never did like a game like a GMT or a Compass War game, if I'm not mistaken. On Little Wars TV. That great channel that is Indie Nidel's World War II week by week. So week 242, 4,000 German teens trapped in Tamopol, World War II, that's April 15, 1944. We're nearing the end of this series that's been going on for five years. And why we don't talk about China, World War II special documentary. Why don't we talk about China? Figure it out. And Hitler's revenge on the Italian people war against humanity. What a scum bucket. Hitler, that is. All this on World War II. The man who looks like a vampire, Mark Felton of Mark Felton Productions. Four videos. Was Hitler part Jewish? Yeah, his grandmother was Jewish. Plus Al Capone's pistol. It's a 45. And the last MiG 15S. Still serving in 2023. Looks like a cool plane. Plus secret Soviet base in Scotland. There's only one Grant, and I'm him. Today, Kilroy goes off the shelf and on to his weekly update. Yes, this week was Leipzig week. I covered a lot of Leipzig, including the uh, Decision Games Folio, Napoleon Encircled, and several Against the Odds or LPS Inc., 
postcard games, four to be exact, that cover four quadrants of the Battle of Leipzig, uh, which are kind of interesting, so check those out, and including a follow-up video that covers the combination of the four. But I started the week out with Sanctuary Sunday, where I covered soccer. Yes, I covered uh, several unboxings of 11, the football manager game and its expansions, and then I did a big uh, soccer Sunday on my soccer games that uh, I wanted to talk about. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy. Dan needs a video. Dan needs a video. Oh my God. Hey, cup of joe. I don't got time for coffee. Jan Heinemann, let's play history, he has 12 videos out, and one, two, three are on Suzerain, and one, two, three, four, five, six are on the council, and the Schwarzenbrigade, so the Black Brigade, one, two, three, on that, one, two, three, four, five, six, on Jan Heinemann's Let's Play History. The Professor Ricardo Mazzini has four videos out. Warlog, Fighters of the Pasik, and 2DI3, Sul Tavolo on the table. And then he gives it to us as a conclusion and an English version of this because Ricardo is considerate. Plus, Ludo Storia, I jaw. Joka gratis, free games. Oh, I see. I don't know if it's free games, but maybe it's called free games. 2023, it's a car. Dave of Dave's Gaming Cave. One video, Centurion's Review Channel Update. Five minutes, listening to Dave. Mo of Mo's Game Table has one video, and then it's the Mog, Mogadishu 1993 from White Dog Games, a preview. The theologian, theologian, theologian and philosopher, Hexes and Soldiers, Vittoria 1813. This is a surely a Napoleonic game where he kicked some Italian hiney on Hexes and Soldiers. I could be mistaken, but it's for you. Check it out. Mauro Faina for Italian listeners. Episode 53 of Gianni Zeronero talks about paths of glory. He gives us a schooling on this. I don't know if it's in English or in Italian. Knowing Mauro, it's in English. Cody of the Discriminating Gamer has three videos out. And it's Marvel Age of Heroes plus Cody's top 30 games of 2022. He's got them all out on the table. Numbers 20 to 11 plus Assault Red Horizon 41 on the Discriminating Gamer. The inimitable. I hope I said that right. Stuka Joe. Psychon 75 unboxing. It's live. Plus a live overview of said game and an example of play of said game, which is Saigon 75 on Stuka Joe's channel. Kalsmar, another guy I used to watch a long time ago with uh, Castelli. He plays four videos of Europa Universalis, parts 9, 10, 11, and 12. War Game Rambling has one video in its Battle of Rhode Island, a game published by GMT, designed by Mark Miklos. I'm sure of that. The Minister, that is Joel Toppin, has one video and it's a GMT reboot game of an old Avalon Hill game called The Russian Campaign. Fifth edition, on Vassal. The man famously known as Callendale, Enrico Viglino, has four videos out. Europa Universalis 34 plus. Live every day like it's your last. This is a rant. And he continues. Europa Universalis 
35 and 36. I've been living like it's my last day for the last days. The Chief and Bonding with Board Games and RPGs has two videos out in its top five RPG aspects, 80s versus <clears throat> the 2000s. Plus Blade Runner episode 12, Sap Tap, actual solo rules or solo role-playing free league games. Watch Bonding with Board Games, The Chief and RPGs. GG of Geek Gamers Solo RPG Indie Showcase. She used to be heavily into war games. I used to watch her a lot, but then she branched into role-playing games. And hey, that's her thing, and she does it well. Marco Omni Gamer at ah, Marco Warn Gamer does Coral Sea Solitaire Review. Coral Sea. I'm wondering if that's a Worthington publishing game. Most probably. Marco Omni Gamer. The gentlemen of the Players 8 are doing a review on the British Way. GMT Games. <laughs> Look at Grant. Also, unboxing The Mog by White Dog Games. And they review Storm over Jerusalem at MMP Game. All this on the Players Aid. East Front Month continues to roll along at Seek Out and Play. This week we describe how to get started playing the first game published in the Valiant Defense series, Pavlov's House. Released by DVG and designed by David Thompson, the video demonstrates the setup for the standard game. For those who have the game and have yet to play, have your rulebook handy to follow along. Check out more games in the Vaunted Valiant Defense series by DVG when you visit the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel. And I will see you next Wednesday. Another week, another show. I said it was a big show. It's always a big show, even though it's one of the shortest I've ever done. But that's because I'm learning the ropes. You know what I'm saying? Even after five years, I'm learning. I love learning. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Just click the button button. Eh. And if you are so inclined, please donate on Patreon to upheld or uphold this channel. Look, be nice. And um, that's all, man. Be nice. And Nietzsche said it. Embrace it. Have a good week.